Uh, quiet on the set, please. Hello. Test, test. One, two. Shh. Testing. Uh, Captain, we're ready to get started. Uh, just take a seat over there. So I thought we could start with the whole I did my own stunts angle and sort of rolled into my method for accomplishing this brooding stare. Yes, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, but, but first, could you comment on the disappearance of Clank? Oh, right. Little guy. What do you want to know about him for? You've got El Numero Uno superhero right here. Ah, look at that, huh? There's your superhero. You can't see it, but there's a tribal tattoo under there. That's nice, but if, if you could just give us your version of the events. I'm sorry. I thought we were here to talk about my new hollow film, My Blaster Runs Hot. I mean, I wouldn't even be able to tell a story without some sort of visual. Do you have any crayons? We'll uh, add in the visuals. All right. It began a couple of years ago. I was manning my post as chief volunteer at the Planetary Defense Center when a deadly space armada began attacking Metropolis. Naturally, I could have handled the matter myself, but I was compelled to escort a group of underprivileged orphans to safety. I contacted Ratchet and Clank and deputized them to act in my stead. We soon learned that a vile tyrant named Percival Tachyon had amassed a large army and set his sights on destroying the galaxy's thriving Lombax population. Um, Ratchet is the only Lombax. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure, yeah. Huh. Anyway, Tachyon was after a device that would enable him to bring back a banished race of creatures known as Kragmites. Little did he know, a mysterious race known as the Zoni were giving Clank new abilities, including... Laser arms. But they were doing more than just giving him abilities, weren't they? Well, there was something about premonitions and yada yada yada, but the heart of the story is here with old CQ. Using my keen intellect and deceptive skills, I planted myself within the Emperor's ranks and tracked down the Dimensionator. Which you promptly delivered into the hands of Tachyon, enabling him to release the Kragmite Scourge. A mere bump on the road to victory, my friend. We still destroyed Tachyon, banished the Kragmites, and saved the galaxy. But then, in a shocking final twist, the very beings Clank claimed to have aided him snatched him from the Apogee space station, never to be seen or heard from again. Well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, Ratchet discovered his location in an uncharted system on the edge of the galaxy. Its capture had been orchestrated by Dr. Nefarious. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. I, of course, was on the set for my new hollow film, My Blaster Runs Hot, which, by the way, you have yet to ask about. One of the greatest heroes in the universe, your colleague, is captured by your nemesis, and you stay behind. Didn't you hear the call to arms? Of course I heard it. But when you get to be as big as me, you have to let a few of those babies go to voicemail, you know? <laughs> Kidding! Ha! Had you for a second. Of course I'm gonna help Clank. Me and Ratchet planned this whole thing. Hello? Call to arms? <laughs> Just kidding, it's my assistant. Raul, fire up the ship and call Ratchet. I've got a hero to save. What's up guys and welcome to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank Future, A Crack in Time. Okay, so I'm really excited to do this. Um, it's completely blind, I've never played this game before, but I've always wanted to. But, you know, it never made sense for me to, because, you know, I just haven't played the other ones in this series. But I finally have, of course. And now with all the Nexus hype up and around and all over the place, I feel like it's perfect time to get this done. And then about the time I finish this, hopefully Nexus will be coming out. And that'll be perfect timing and amazingness for that. <laughs> so hopefully it works out that way. Let's hop into the game, I don't really have much to say. We're gonna do this on medium mode, and let's just ignore that for now. Have I ever told you about my son? Remarkable boy, quite smart. He was born in a robot factory in the Solana galaxy. But to be precise, he was created much farther away. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. Ah, my arch nemesis. Not so smart now, are you? Sir, 
The Zoni are inquiring about our progress. Ah, how much longer must we pretend to be friends with those twits? Sire does not remember. You must fix. Yes, I'm fixing. I'm fixing. Stand by for sister board scan. Alright, let's see. Favorite colors green, favorite numbers 83 billion and 4.7. Blah, blah, blah. Access denied. Neural safeguard activated. No! No! Oh, locked out again! It's in here, Lawrence. Somewhere in this brain lies the key to the Orvis chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Your zoniness. If we could take but a peek at the chamber. No, Orvis chamber. Chamber is for sire only. Very well. Then I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Say hello to... Not the hypersonic brainwave scrambler. The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! <laughs> Apologies, sir. I should have mentioned the equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. He's awake! Stop him! Okay, so we start our adventure off as Clank. I, I can't say I was seeing that coming. I thought we'd just be Ratchet again trying to find Clank. Doesn't seem to be the case now. Oh geez, are we gonna fall? Looks like we're gonna fall. Oh yeah, I'm Clank though. I can have my helicopter. I forgot about this. I'm not used to Clank because I played Quest for Booty and he isn't in there at all. Okay, oh geez, everything is falling apart. Where exactly are we? I know we've been taken here by the zoning, but what is the purpose of this place? Alright, let's... Oh my gosh, Clank plays pretty well. I forgot how well he played. But I gotta say, I'm pretty excited to get into this. This game, I've heard so much good stuff about it, and it's like one of the more solid Ratchet and Clank games, so it's gonna be fun. Alright then. This guy's telling us to go in this air duct here, so I might as well. I forgot how good Clank play is though. Like, I know there's a Clank PSP game and stuff. am I? What is Dr. Nefarious doing here? I'll explain everything as soon as you're safe, sir. But right now, we need to calibrate your ocular response processes. Try looking at the ocular scanner on your left. Good. All right. Okay. <laughs> it's a pretty simple tutorial. I really like it when a game can actually bring subtlety to a tutorial. Like, of course this doesn't feel like I'm like actually doing a tutorial. I feel like I'm just sort of playing the game a little. I don't know, and it has like that nice like, I don't know. It's just nice. <laughs> Alright. There's that one tutorial then, I'm sure we'll run into a few. Oh my. Wow, the, the, everything is looking really good though. This The graphics on this are surprisingly good. I mean, Quest for Booty and Crick and Time. Did, I mean, yeah, excuse me. Uh, Quest for Booty and Tools of Destruction did not look anywhere close to this good. I mean, they look good, but not this good. This looks great graphically. I love graphics. I mean, some people tell me that I shouldn't, but I do. You know, Clank is the size of the boxes. <laughs> I mean, it's like Ratchet is so small, and then Clank all of a sudden is even smaller, and it's sort of hard to notice. Okay. So, in midair, helipack. Oh? Okay. There we go. Okay, sweet. More platforming. And I missed Clank. I forgot how awesome Clank was. Okay, let's punch these boxes. Get rid of the boxes. I hope you guys are excited for this, though. Because after this, of course, we're going to be into the Nexus, which comes down, I think, October or November ish. And both are incredibly exciting this and that game. Alright, 
just more tutorial-esque stuff here. The three helipack boots. Ah, so it's like a triple jump, really. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, no, don't fall. Don't do it, Clank. What is this? Uh, can I do anything here? No? Alright. I must move then. Run! But yes, along with this and other PS3 projects, and eventually other projects are coming along the channel, this is just one of many new series that I'm going to be doing, and I'm so excited, really. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so excited to just start doing stuff on the channel. And you know, it's pretty great. It's, it, there's been so many games releasing this year, that it's sort of hard to keep track of them. Whoa, these guys are zapping. I only have five hit points? Okay, I gotta be careful, then. I'm just gonna keep on following this guy with the, the, the funny voice. Yeah, over here, quickly! <laughs> there is the green dude. Alright, then I guess I gotta keep moving because they're right behind me, supposedly. The boats even look so much bigger. I think it's just because Clank is so small and there's our health back, okay. Oh, let's hide them. What is he doing? Oh man, he's making it slow motion, okay. Got to do this platform over this, and this is cool. This reminds me of Jack Three. <laughs> you know the um that little mode you could go in slow mode and platform things. That's what it reminds me of, and that was pretty cool. And so is this. Oh no, more zippy zaps. Get out of here. There you go. I'm liking this game already. It feels great. The Great Clock Sector One. Okay, cool. Oh geez, everything's still falling apart. So nefarious, back again. He isn't. He hasn't been in the future series at all. There's always the other dude, the shorter guy that wasn't a robot, in Tools of Destruction, and of course with the pirates more in Quest for Booty. So it's like, I, I didn't even play 2 and 3, the original 2 and 3 that much, only like a few levels. So this, to be honest, is really interesting. Um, this to see Nefarious, because I don't really, like even remember Nefarious that much in the games. And his personality and stuff is pretty funny and pretty cool. Okay, it looks like it needs... Oh, did he reverse timer and then re reset it? <laughs> so there's a lot of time travel mixing about with the zoning and stuff, and that's an interesting type of thing for story plots. Usually, usually when you get into the time... the time traveling and time mixing kind of plot devices. Oh, is that what that was? Um, it was the guy who has been leading us here. Okay, let's head up these steps though and see what awaits us over here. I should have known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it? This is your home! The Great Clock! A marvel of science and sorcery, engineered by the brightest Sony in all of existence, and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or take 50 feet. I am curious. What lie did you tell the Zomi in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I'm egomaniacal. Let's just say it's all in the past. Lawrence! Right here, sir. Ready the orb of gratuitous immobilization. <laughs> Shall I prepare the mnemonic station again? No, I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. 